This question belongs to the topic of analog modulation techniques. The subtopic is amplitude modulation. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Approximate time required to solve this question is 60 seconds. So in this question, he has given a amplitude modulated signal. So amplitude modulation means AM. It is one of the types of analog modulation techniques. In amplitude modulation technique, the amplitude of the carrier signal is varied in accordance with the amplitude of the message signal or the modulating signal. So the name amplitude modulated signal means the amplitude property of the carrier signal is varied in such a way that it carries the information content of the message signal. So, its mathematical representation is given by this equation. So, he is asking the ratio of power of the message signal to the power of the carrier signal. In any modulation scheme, message signal and carrier signal are the two types of signals that are available. Message signal is the act actual information bearing signal. Carrier signal is the act signal which carries the message information through a distance. So if you see a FM radio or a AM radio, the message signal is the actual speech or the song or the whatever is broadcasted from the station. But if you see generally the message signal frequency range is in the audio frequency range. Say for example, if you see in the AM radio, the message signal is around 3.5 kilohertz. So say whatever signal human can hear through his ears, that is in the range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, that is called message signal. Say if any music signal, speech signal, voice signal is there whose frequency is less than 20 kilohertz that is called as the message signal and it contains the actual information to be transmitted. But the drawback with this low frequency signal is that when you transmit this signal through the air medium, it travels only through a very small distance and after that it attenuates. But if you see the AM radio station, it will be some 20 to 40 kilometers away from the listening equipment that is your radio. So here this carrier signal is always the high frequency signal. It, so as the frequency of the carrier signal is high, the, so generally it is in megahertz or in gigahertz that is depending on the application. So if you see the AM signal, the ca amp carrier signal will be in kilohertz. If you see TV broadcasting, the carrier signal will be in megahertz. So the use of the carrier signal is that it can travel through a larger distance as the frequency is high. So if you see here in the given question, there are three types of frequencies. So if you see, if you compare cos 2000 pi t with cos omega c t, so omega is equal to 2 pi f. So you equate 2000 pi is equal to 2 pi f. Then you cancel pi pi on both sides, 2 on both sides, then you get f is equal to 1000. So, you are going to get the frequency as 1000. So, this is, so likewise, if you see the F here, the frequency is 1000. So, if you divide by 2 by whatever this is there inside the coefficient of T. So, cos function is there, this is called argument. So, this is called coefficient of T. This coefficient of T you divided by 2 pi you are going to get the frequency. So here the frequency is 1200. 0, 0.
so if you divide this by 2 pi you are going to get the frequency as 1400 so these are the frequencies so this am signal contains carrier components at 1000 hertz 1200 hertz and 1400 hertz frequency in order to solve this question students should know the concept of power of a signal and am general signal representation so in this question application of properties is tested and there is no shortcut for this question there is only one method either theory exam or any exam only one method that is direct property application this is a very very straightforward question so the approach to solve this problem is he has given a am modulated signal equation so you we should compare this equation with the standard am modulated signal equation so the concept goes like this for a single tone here the word single tone means tone means frequency single means one frequency for a single tone sinusoidal signal means there is a sinusoidal signal say assume it is cos omega m t it, it is a single tone means it contains single frequency so if you see here this cos omega m t is the m of t or the message signal and the message signal frequency is nothing but omega m so for a single tone sinusoidal signal standard expression of am signal is x of t is equal to ac into 1 plus ma into cos omega mt into cos omega ct so now if you see here this ac is nothing but the carrier amplitude or the carrier signal voltage level ma is nothing but the amplitude modulation modulation index omega c is nothing but the carrier signal frequency omega m is nothing but the message signal angular frequency so omega c t is nothing but the carrier signal omega m t is nothing but the message signal so when this message signal of cos omega m t is sent through an amplitude modulator then the output is of the form of 1 plus mu a into cos omega n t into a c into cos omega c t so a message signal of this form when passed through an amplitude modulator becomes a signal of this fashion now coming to the solution for this problem this is the given signal so for a single tone sinusoidal signal a standard expression of am signal is as we have discussed it is nothing but x of t is equal to ac into 1 plus ma into cos omega m2 into cos omega ct now if we do just term by term multiplication that is we are going to get ac into 1 into cos omega ct ac into cos omega ct next ac into ma into cos omega mt into cos omega ct so this term we can write it as you can use the expansion of trigonometric formula which is cos a into cos b is equal to 1 by 2 into cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b by using that formula we are going to get ac into ma by 2 into cos omega c plus omega m into t plus ac into ma by 2 into cos omega c minus omega m into t the formula that has been used here is by using this expansion we get this expansion so we we know that this is the standard equation and we have expanded that equation and we have obtained the expanded form of the standard equation so now we will compare the equation given in the question and compare the expanded form of standard equation if you compare term by term 
this equation also contains three terms this equation also contains three terms so if you see here out of the three terms the term with the highest frequency is the omega c plus omega m into t term the term with the lowest frequency out of these three terms is the cos of omega c minus omega m into t other term is omega c t now clearly the out of these three terms the highest frequency term is cos of 2800 pi t this is the highest frequency term so we can tell as omega c plus omega m is equal to 2800 pi also we can conclude that ac into ma by 2 is equal to coefficient of this cos term which is 1 so likewise similarly we can derive that omega c minus omega m is nothing but lowest frequency of all the three that is 2000 pi and the coefficient you we can compare of these two terms ac into ma by 2 is equal to 1 likewise omega c is equal to 2400 pi and ac is equal to 4 so now we have to use the formula of modulation index ma is equal to am by ac so from by comparing this e given quotient equation and the expanded standard expression we have obtained value of ma and ac substitute in this equation calculate the value of am power in the message signal is given by the formula pm is equal to am square by 2 just substitution is involved here power in the carrier signal is given by pc is equal to ac square by 2 so the ratio is asking the ratio of pm by pc that is ratio of message signal power to carrier power pm by pc you divide and we get the answer thank you